What if anything you put a hat on came to life? Frosty the Snowman style. So what I did was um, in this hat world where hats, magical hat world where hats make things alive. I want to see what the like what your job is like if you own a hat store. So uh, the main problem with hat stores is going to be storing them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like how where do you put them? Where do you put the hats? So to start off, I looked up how people store hats right now and like different techniques they use. And the hat m- rack. <laughs> yeah, well, coat rack is like a a common thing, but you're not going to want to use a coat rack. But the main thing that they were concerned about was protecting the shape of the hat. So, like, they didn't want it to, like, flatten. So, they, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to prevent this, they suggested, like, using a foam head or, like, stuffing it with something soft like a scarf. Obviously, we can't do that because those things will come alive. And we don't want... Oh, no. I just... I do have a very good image now of foam <laughs> heads foam head. flying through the hat store. It's not good. I had <laughs> yeah, the same you, one. You don't want literally everything in your store coming to life. So, to avoid this... Oh, they also suggested, to save space, they suggested stacking them on top of each other. <laughs> that is a deep philosophical question we are not going into. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't really yeah, want to gonna... go down that road, so it's just like, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to avoid tricky questions like, what if you put two hats on the thing? <laughs> <laughs> or, one, or one hat on two things. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do that. Um, you also can't really put it on, like furniture we didn't really specify like what comes to life so like if you put it on the ground the ground doesn't come to life right so yeah oh god that the ground <laughs> is the only thing that's big enough not to happen yeah but if you put it on like a table like a really big table the table still comes to life right oh yeah i think so there needs to be like like a ratio of hat to object size yeah i feel like there is a ratio but but for some of these sake down. let's just say furniture yeah. comes to life ground does not come to life that makes sense <laughs> so you can't really use furniture or anything so Actually, you can use furniture if you put it upside down. So mm. as long as you put it upside down, it should be good. Because um, we said that that's not, like, it's not wearing the hat if it's upside down. The hat's upside down, not the table. Yeah, if the, right. if the hat's upside down. Okay, just want to be clear. Yeah. So we can actually do that. So I wanted to see how many hats we can fit in our store. If we have all the hats upside down, they're not stacked on top of each other. And they're not, like, overlapping or anything. So they're not on anything... They're only like in a flat projected area. So I wanted to figure out how much space one hat takes up. And again, the volume doesn't matter because we're not stacking them. So I measured my own head and my head is two feet in (laughs) circumference. (laughs) How did you measure your head? I'm just curious. There's lots of ways to do it. I have a tape measure. (laughs) That's the most logical one. (laughs) Okay. Well, I don't don't have like one of those uh, soft tape measures like for fabrics and things. Oh, you have a... (laughs) <laughs> to take a circumference i would have to use like <laughs> like a pull tape measure like a the, the ones that, the yellow instruction one i guess they're like it's like a like, it's metal. like metal yeah, that, yeah i metal. mean that's actually what i used but wait, I mean, how, wait how did you do this it's bendy you can bend it it's just not it's not like cloth but it's bendy I, just, I imagine you let it go and like the, the the lip of that thing that little metal edge just like went right across your forehead and like just left you like a big scratch all the way around your head and people were like how'd you get that and you're like i don't measuring my head <laughs> measuring my head to see how how big a hat is <laughs> <laughs> Um, Why didn't you just measure a hat? Why didn't you just Google it? I don't have a hat, and I wanted my hat. Fair enough. All right. (laughs) I don't own a hat. This podcast has a personal touch. I don't wear hats, so I can measure a hat that I have. Yeah, so my head is two feet in circumference, which is around seven and a half inches in diameter. Um, And then I said that each hat has like a a two-inch brim all the way around, just like on average i just picked a generic hat yeah so the total projected area of the hat i said was 1.32 square feet so that's for one hat now how big is a store um i said that the 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 hat store that i have is like an independent locally owned store so about 1.32 square feet (laughs) (laughs) there's some pretty small stores out there but i found the average number for independent locally owned stores and that is 4000 square feet so with one layer of hats not overlapping at all you can fit around 3000 hats in the store at a time 
So that's a decent amount of hats. It's not like you could definitely fit more if you could stack them. You could put them on shelves, not to not to boo hickey on your square foot floor answer, but you could put them on shelves upside down. Yeah, you could put them on shelves upside down, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going with the three thousand. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to see if 3,000 was actually enough hats to, like, satisfy the demand for hats. So I looked at the number of hats sold in the U.S. In 2018, the revenue per capita from hats was $22.51. So that's about the price of one hat, roughly. Um, so that means that everyone in the U.S. on average bought one hat in 2018. I want to make this a holiday. The day you just go out and buy a hat. <laughs> hat day. And then you just have a new hat all day. Yeah. Be like, this is my new, this is my new 2018 hat. This is my new 2019 hat. Um, it's a little, you know, more fun than my 2018 hat. 2018 was kind of a rough year, but this one, this one's going to be good. I can this, feel it already. This is an optimistic hat right here. So that's, that's all the hat stores in the U.S. sold that many. But I want to see how, how many stores are there actually in the U.S. that sell hats. And I found that 2,207 hat stores are in the U.S. That's weirdly specific. I know. It was weird that I could find that stat. <laughs> Don't know how accurate it is. <laughs> Did that just come up? Did you just Google, like, how many hat stores? And, like, here you go. Yeah, there's some, like, business website that you could, like, pick the, like, the industry. And they, like, filtered out the, the amount of stores. So I don't, I don't remember what the website was. And I don't know if it's accurate. But... It seems reasonable. I think this, yeah. these were more like specializing in hats. Right. So obviously there are other stores that sell hats that don't specialize in hats, but I'm not including those. So in the U.S., the population is 327 million people, and that divided by the number of hat stores means that there are 148,000 people per store. So that means that in order to satisfy... The demand for hats per year, you need to have 148,000 hats in your store. But that's per year. That's not at one time. So you can spread it out through the year. And that means that on average, per day, you need to have 405 hats. So you have plenty of room to spare per day. But you don't really want daily shipments because that's just kind of a pain. You don't want to get a, a shipment of 405 hats every day. Well, right. if I sold 405 hats every day, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you spread it out, then you can have bigger shipments of hats come in and you don't have to do it as often. Um, so if you do a monthly shipment, then you'll need 12,000 hats to satisfy the demand and you do not have enough room for that. So you can't do monthly shipments, but you can you can do weekly shipments where you will need 2,800 hats, which is pretty close to our 3,000. So weekly shipments is is doable. It's it's not the best. If you if you do want to do the monthly shipments, you could. I came up with this like thing where you like hang it from the ceiling with strings, <laughs> <laughs> and then you just have hang like layers of hanging hats on top of each other. God, you that's have to make such sure a they weird image. Yeah, it's it's a little strange. You have to make sure they don't touch each other because that might be considered one wearing the other, but. Four layers is enough to satisfy the the demand for hats. I just imagine like your hat store on like the last day of the week when the, you've sold ninety percent of your hats, and because there's no shelves or furniture or anything, you just walk into the store. That's just like five percent of the ground is covered and just loose hats. <laughs> yep, <Yeah. laughs> it's just like a cash register like on and one it's, side. It's all the worst <laughs> hats too. Like <laughs> yeah, it's like the shittiest hats, and you can't even really like see what the hat looks like because it's upside down and they're like all clumped together. <laughs> right. This is like point. I want that one. <laughs> is there like is there a recurring problem where people go? I guess people would know, but like you just grab the hat off the floor and you go to the counter to check out, and you put the hat on the counter and you don't put it upside down, and now the counter has come to life while you're trying to check out. <laughs> I mean, I think it's common knowledge that this happens if you if the hats aren't upside down. It would. It, it, I think it would become very common knowledge very quickly. Ooh, I think yeah. it, maybe it would become a crime <laughs> to put them right side <laughs> up where you're not supposed to. Yeah. So I did all this math and then. Coming to Marcus's point with the shells, I realized that I could... I didn't say shells, but I realized that the easy solution is just to put them in boxes upside down. So that's the easy thing. <laughs> I think if you put I think if you put a hat in a hat, it's going gonna, it's gonna to trigger. Yeah, but a hat in a box upside down. 
Oh, 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 because you, you pulled it. the box. Got it. Yeah. And just stack yeah, the boxes on top of each other. So you can store as many hats as a normal store would store hats. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's risky because one box gets flipped up. It's gonna, you're you're going to have a right side up on that box. But if one box gets flipped upside down, the, that box will come alive from the inside. Well, the packaging of the inside of the box can be indented to avoid that. But it, it's and not even about like, if it moves up. inside the box. If the box just gets flipped 180. Well, you can have the a hat. this side up sign <laughs> or thing on the side. Follow me here. You're in the storeroom. You go... You trip a little bit. Someone left a broom, and you knock one box over. It flips 180. Box is now alive. Box freaks out. Box <laughs> jumps to the left, hits the <laughs> stack of boxes. All the boxes fall down. Half of them are now face up. <laughs> you have that issue no matter what. This is true. That's, that's always an issue. This is a risk you run when you go <laughs> in a dangerous hat store game. I will say, it is impossible to... Like, get the hat out of the box. <laughs> what if it's in a box? You will not be able to take the hat off. If you put a hat on a table, you have a chance of getting that hat off. But if you put it, if the hat is inside the box, you're done. Then you have to take the, the lid off, which I guess is considered the box's head. So you're beheading the box. Actually, would just the, would only the lid come to life, technically? Yeah, I guess what, <laughs> the, only the half of the box that the hat is on would come to life. I like the whole box. The whole box coming to life seems more like what it would happen to me. <laughs> So your problem with the shelves is that if you accidentally, if one of them accidentally turns over, the whole shelf comes to life, and that affects all the all the hats. So, yeah, after I did all those calcs, I realized that um, that I didn't have to because of the box thing. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> well, you also have to consider there might still not be enough room for hats because you have to consider the increased demand for hats. Like people buy one hat a year. I might buy like a hat a week. If yeah, well, that's uh, an anomaly. Well, if I have shit to put hats on. <laughs> he has a point. I the guess, demand yeah. will increase. The demand, well, for some people it will increase. For some people, I think it will decrease. I, no, I don't think that, like, I think there's going to be, I mean, I didn't think of too many of them in my, you know, household daily life, but I, there's you're going to need, like, a couple dozen hats. Like, you got to have at least a couple dozen things that are more helpful if they're alive. Right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs>